Greetings and salutations. This is the dancehall professor, and I'm coming to you from one of the beautiful one apartment rooms here at the dancehall hostel here in Kingston. We call it the Diamond in the Rough. I would like to take this time to thank you, our friends, family, fans, all the subscribers, for supporting yet another what I would call a blockbuster series. We did tell them that it was going to be a short series, you know, and we hear a whole heap of people are ask, are you guys going to continue this one apartment series? Well, we will be considering carrying it on for at least one full season, which is 13 episodes. We've got four already, and we might just carry it to a full season. So we really want to say thank you for the support, and we also want to tell you to make sure that you watch the very end so you can see the one minute trailer for the return of the bartender. Everyone, we are on the road to 100k subscribers. We want to thank you for the support. We want to always tell you that Dance Expressions and Expressions JA is all about not just entertainment, but education. So we we'll call it edutainment. So here may I say, my cast, my crew, my business partners, enough respect. Thank you again to everyone for the support. Now stay tuned and watch the finale of One Apartment. Seems a bit under the weather lately, so you know. I think I can step in. Something is happening at home. Of course, I'll be there. Try and make sure you're far away. Yes. Third one will need your job. Raymond, when these things happen, you have to come and see me. This is what human resource is for. Listen, be in my office when I get there. And this is the last talk we're gonna have. After this, you'll be job hunting, Raymond. Don't tell me. Please do better. At all. This don't look good. We're in the same space and we're not at all. What we need to do is coexist until one of us decides to move on or move out. I'm late for work.
I'll have it ready for you, my friend. It can't be done any sooner. I'm swamped with work. I literally got it 46 minutes and uh, 27 seconds ago. Thank you for your patience. Some people are just unbelievable. Hey, handsome, I need a favor. Fiona, you are all out of favors with me. Pretty please. Listen, I know I owe you big time, but I've offered to repay you and you turn me down. What is it, Fee? I love it when you call me Fee. Oh, I pulled these documents from two years ago and I am just not balancing the trial balance. And you want me to balance them for you? That would be such a bad idea. Okay, um leave it here and I'll I'll I'll, I'll see what I can do. Your life saver. Uh, uh, it, it, it seems as if it's only your life I'm saving. That's not such a bad thing. I, I let you know in the documents, sir. Yeah? Thanks, sweetheart. What's up with little Miss Total? Fiona, her name is Brenda, not Miss Total, and nothing is up with her. I've been meaning to ask you though, why was she looking at me like that when we were at the after gym last week? Was she threatened by me? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not aware that she was looking at you in any type of a way. Typical man. You guys never seem to notice or admit to things like this. Okay, if you say so. I know exactly why she's acting like this.
And why is she acting like this? Face it, Denka. You are out of her league and she knows it. So, of course, she has to be overprotective and territorial. Interesting. Very interesting. Lincoln, listen. I don't want to seem disrespectful or anything, but that girl doesn't suit you. She's a total opposite of the type of woman that you should have. And what type of woman should I have? One like me. Bright. Witty. Independent. Has a stable job that can sustain a meaningful relationship. If this girl works at the gas station, What's the highest level she could reach? Manager for pumping gas. Wow. That's low. I'm sorry. I know she's your woman, but I'm a straight shooter, so I had to say it. Besides, I don't know what attracted you to her. Fiona, you know what attracted me to Brenda? It is her unfiltered attitude and her total commitment to me. And the fact that she's a real sweetheart behind that tough exterior. But recently she has gotten to be so disrespectful. I don't mean to throw a nail in your cough, Lincoln, but what did you expect? This girl works at a gas station. She knows no better. No matter how hard you try, you can take the girl out of the ghetto, but you cannot take the ghetto out of the girl. Do you want to talk about it? Send me off to pull off of the road and I drive me, I drive you know. Yeah. What's up? Finally get into it. Yes, yeah, so no. Um, did you send the commission money to my account as yet? Yeah, man. I send it to your account. You send it? You know, I've been checking for morning and I've, I haven't right. seen it. Check it later. Cool? Alright, maybe that's what I need to do. Next thing, do you have any of those high-end um, vacation homes available? Yeah, yeah man. Florida Shores. Florida S -O Shores. SO956. Okay. Sounds yeah. good because I have a very fussy family that's coming in that's looking for somewhere to spend their vacation, you know, and into entertainment. Yeah, and man. That. So that place is good? It has four video game arcade machines. Okay. Good. Two different game consoles. Sounds good. Xbox. PlayStation. Okay. That's so good. <laughs> and, and next thing to it, they have all a, it have all a, 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 a indoor movie station. Wow. That sounds very yeah. really exciting. So what would be the cost for three weeks? Three weeks? Yeah. All right. Tell them 30 grand US a week. 30 grand? You sure that's not too much? That come with a chef plus two maids. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound bad then. <laughs> I will relate it to her and get back to you. Alright. So cool. outside of that, you're good? Because I like what you're saying. 
not really you know but I'm good you sure you ain't your girlfriend all right can you see a really check for you because I've never seen it like this or heard it like yeah, this yeah man love that girl that body you know? you know say enough girl may have been through and yeah, pure problem. <laughs> oh boy, I can tell you. But no matter for yourself, yeah. I can't get over that one. Yeah. No, no, man, just take it easy. She had the one. It's going to work out. Right. I just hope and pray so when I talk to her, she just understand and just make the thing work. I hope she will understand too. So, anyways, we're going to run, so I'll get back to you, alright? Alright, Katie. Okay. We talk. Good. Bless you. Why you stop back up at the stand? Yo, my camera would be a bad mind thing up there, so. So why them a bad mind you? Yeah? So you know, say so most of the people that were my taxi them prefer. And the youth them are part of the taxi company. I say, oh, then can't get no work since me come from the stand. So them now want me there. So I can't bother the vibe, so I just blow it out. Well, me not like when me I go for take taxi and them a grab grab up people. Me not like it, man. So I'm kind of glad say so you're down here. Yeah, man. So me I stay in my lane, man. So what you know? Which way are you? Supermarket. Me I go in and want get some things for the house. Which one? Dollar Valley. So far? At first, me ever hear one taxi man bother about the distance. Me not think I just want to collect. And my style of still, you know? Well, you have two supermarkets where there's some... Oh, maybe me just want to drive out with you. No disrespect, still, you know? But, um, any of let me tell you something. You know, really mix business with pleasure, you know. So, if anything you have in your mind. That can bring me? Uh, yeah, more than bring us to the normal moment. We can go to the supermarket, huh? You are reliable, you are a great worker, and you are punctual. However, your mouth is dirty, and you cannot speak to your workers, the co-workers, like that. How me talk to them, Miss Jan? How me talk to them? Do I them to go around? They don't want to know what their lazy is, Jan. But that does not give you a right to tell them about their mother. That's wrong, and that's not polite, Raymond. But Miss Jan, I saw me telling you know, when people aggravate me, they just tell me when come out of my mouth, you know, Miss Jan. But they don't have to tell the truth. But them lazy, they don't want to work. Yes, but there's a different approach. I will speak to them, that's not your job. Once you speak to me, I will speak to them. Alright? And I hope it does not go back to a situation like this. Miss Jan, I hope you talk to them, you know. I hope you talk to them because, may I tell you, if you talk to them and they don't listen, and they will never talk to them, never tell them anything will come my mouth, you know, Miss Jan. Anything will come my mouth, but I'll fire me. Freeman? Freeman? Yes, Miss Jan. Count backwards from 10 to 1 before you answer them, alright? Miss Jan, I'm going to clean the grounds. I'm going to cut them for the max. I'm going to count from 1 to 10. It's 10 to 1, Freeman.
go. What's your name again? Oh yes, Brenda. Link on the ear. If you step up for lunch, you won't be back until an hour or so. Would you like to leave a message for him? So I mean, I want to give you a message to link on when me can do it myself. Seems to me that if you could do that, you wouldn't be here. What? He's not taking your calls? That and a year business. Brenda, Brenda, can we have a woman to woman talk? Well, we could have possibly that for that old. Whatever you have done to Lincoln, he doesn't want to see you. It pains me to see young women like you beg and bow to get back in a man's life. Know your worth. Have some pride. You and Lincoln were never gonna last. Let's face it. Face it. If you ever know more and do to your face in your face girl. <laughs> but over the last few days, me have learned self-control. I'ma tell you this. You see, Evie Flink can not take me back. You can't get him. Cause if me don't know nothing about a man then, me know him not like fabricated people. And you fake out of the cheek to go your way. I'ma tell you this. No man not out of my league. Cause me a good girl. I'm independent. I'm a real. I don't have no message Lincoln, but I have one for you. Try to make me fuck you one away. You're a bumpy dumpy. Oh, it's both me. Come back for you. No man, we are planning. Right. And this is your key back yard? Yeah, because I can't bother with the teeth, you know? So I'm just can't move it along. Calm yourself, youth. You reach the man care bad man and you come tell me about calm self, eh? You hear me say, youth? Calm yourself. I gun your back for me, virgin. Me? You see me back gun for you? You hear me say, brother? Me know you not like me. Because what? Me and Janice are linked now. But remember, say, after you and Janice break up, me and I start linked. Bad man. I'm in a business boy here and Janice, so I don't know why you tell me that for you. I don't like how you look for me. Plus, I'm a very paranoid man. 
Plus me here say yeah, your taxi friend them I talk about how me's a scammer Yo, come out of my car you now I really have to go shoot me That me I tell a bad man Yo, you did already have your chance with Janice And you mess it up So no better come boy with no tough face and no big chat Cause right now, it now go look pretty This is too big man I fight over woman Yo, you done talk I know I so say you and Janice there and I and I left a long time you know, But I still love her But I want thing me I make you know You see, if you ever style her You can get a visit from me Make sure you remember that <laughs> Well, be a with me here You hurt her enough for the two away. Big up yourself, taxi youth. And let me tell you this. I want you to drop the scamming talk. How are you? How are you going, man, brother, my lad? Well, you're not sorry enough, fall. Still in a Nikki. I mean, now so we can't hold our vibes in about this right now. We just want to take things slow, you see me? Yeah, man, I understand, but just know say you're my personal taxi man now. <laughs> I like how that sounds still. Hey, Janice. Who is this? Dallas. Hurry, listen. It doesn't matter how much time you call and what number you're not calling. I'm not interested in speaking to you, okay? Janice, just listen to me now and hear me I out. I don't want to speak to you. Why? I don't want to speak to you. You know what you need. Janice, just hear me out and listen to what I have to say. Bye bye. Janice. Janice, just, 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 Janice.
man, no man, no do that, that don't look good. Humpty hmm. Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. You look here. Come to that, you look here, girl. When I'm done yet. Come here, you alright? Huh? Come here, bro. special day. I'm okay. It's nothing really. Listen, Janice, you've been here a little over six months. You're a very upbeat person and very high-spirited. So it's obvious when you're sad. It's some personal issues. But I'll be fine. Today is your day. Put all the personal issues aside until tomorrow. Alright? And enjoy the day. Okay? You have the files for me? Yes, I do. Thanks, ma'am. No worries. If I were you, I would be on a nice resort with that good body man working up a proper sweat. Listen, girl, you're young only once. Enjoy your day. Make the best of it. Am I invited? <laughs> Mr. P is just a small gallery. Don't you know, big. Okay, my dear, I understand. But you wish Miss Janice a happy birthday for me, yeah? All right, I will. Oh, by the way, Miss Brenda, I've been meaning to ask you. Mm. The other night I see your young man storm out here looking very upset. Is everything all right? Everything all right, Mr. P. I mean, Mr. P. Everything. You say, if fast was a person, you know, sad. <laughs> I've been standing here for the last 15 minutes. Where is this cab? I'm gonna stop using this company, honestly. Oh, White Eddie Wagon. I think I see it coming. Thank you. Whatever you say, but don't tell us an invitation to. Jan, let's consider this as a birthday gift. Thanks for the ride. Jan, hold on. We got a minute out of your time now. You had 30 minutes of my time on my way here. Hold on now. You know, I never get a chance to really apologize to you. I really don't want to tell you how sorry I am, you know. Because I know I'm disappointed as a man, you know. I know I like something that really mean to me, but you know when a man not work and them something that the ego and the low self-esteem, it does make me worse a man you ever get in your life. But one of the best thing you ever do for me is when you put me out. And it make me buy the taxi, I you know. I now tell you that I really appreciate what you do for me. And I'm really sorry. Well, that's good, I guess. 
I'm happy to know that you're a changed man. Take care, Pop. Johnny, hold on. Okay, he's about to. Please. You're joking, right? No, man. I'm serious. You know, all the people that care. Alright, come. Paul, use the bathroom and leave. Yo, no funny business. Trust me. That's why I'm being and leave. Them surprise you, but you surprise them too. <laughs> what is this? Jennings, can I talk to you for a minute, please? Paul, you know where the bathroom is. You know something? And nobody want to use a bathroom. They are cut. Why is move? We key can lick up. Who should I tell me, man? Let me put on my dead pretty damn down and come to today. I'm a move. You know what? Janice, I know it looked the other day when you come here and find the phone in the city. But this is what Brenda and I was planning. A surprise birthday party. A surprise birthday party? Are you sure this wasn't planned after the fact that I after found out? After what fact? After the fact that I found out what was happening. Janice. Nothing is or was happening between Brenda and I. You realize, say, uh, Brenda and, and Lincoln break up because me ask her for all a secret? Brenda wouldn't do that to you. And I wouldn't either. I love and respect you too much for do that. Love? Yes. Love. You foolish. Don't be. I understand everything that you're going through. You're just a little bit timid right now. So let us at least enjoy the rest of the evening. Okay. And I'm sorry. Are you? Yes. And I'll put it in later on. Okay, good. So tell me, what is this between you and your ex? Nothing for you to worry about, trust me. So, let's go and enjoy my birthday party. Okay, cool. Stuff. Can we start to cut the cake and heat and drink and be berry? It's my birthday, not a funeral. Then, John, I really believe me when I do you that. I'm not going to ever do it again. Ever. Try and do it again. Anything else but take your man, your mad. So, what's going on with your Lincoln now?
call him, I'm gonna get the answer. Me to send him a message and no respond. So you tell him about the party? All of that was in the message. And if we did, still no respond to me. Want me to call him for you? Disturbing the place at such a memorious moment. Go, sit down and see young girl get on the cake and cut out the club with the coffee drink. Idiot, are you mad? Come in, man. Party, I go on. Brenda? You sure I can't live here?
Later. You have my number, right? Or yourself. Jan, you surprised me tonight. I didn't know you could have sing like that. This is your man cave? One off. Okay then, so I guess you have houses like your vehicles. Well, I have more vehicles than houses. Care for something to drink? Can I get a melon beer or a sour beer? Sure. Is there a reason? For what? Is this where you take all your virginities? Hmm. So, where is the color that you mark when you take all the females here? <laughs> Trust me, you won't find that here. If you say so. Janice. Means a woman I say no. Are you? Not even close. See, most of my relationship ended because women tried to play me. Right? Because of my money and all of that. So they think that I would just give them something to keep them around. And how do you know I won't do the same? Good question. But that's a chance I'm willing to take. Rory, are you sure we're not moving too fast? If I was moving too fast, I would ask you to come and live with me at the main house. But I won't do that. Happy belated birthday. 
thank you. Are you serious? <laughs> is this the... Is this... Real. <laughs> yes, it is. You see, John, I just want to be the man that Paul was for you. I just want to make sure that you're happy and keep a smile on your face. I really don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just know that you have your own face. And you can decide what you want to push and where you want to take our relationship. I can tell you where I want to go with our relationship now. gun is gonna convince me to come back to you it won't I'm with dollars now so um why is Dallas never in my picture what do you mean brother come out and please Jan, you okay? Yes, yes, sweetheart. I'm fine.
perfect picture Even though deep inside you suffer She model her fear but fancy cover Now make you see how she bruised and better You see a smile, perfect picture Even though deep inside she suffer She model her fear but fancy cover Now make you see how she bruised Reflecting me see how much she changed from she day with him It seem like nothing cause she check for him but slowly Over time she hyper vigilant It up in a dark corner At every event All the little things me get for realize In Shabbat be here they start for normalize Most times when we call me here the I can But she said she happy he must spend money in my eyes See a smile, perfect picture Even though deep inside she suffer She model her fear but fancy cover Now make you see how she bruised and better You see a smile, perfect picture Even though deep inside she suffer She model her fear but fancy cover Now make you see how she bruised Today I see your sister boss can't believe you're gone Your mother paid to be that I'm really born me yeah. Ring your phone you know Said them see your man speed off and escape authorities Till they are try to determine who to blame I fast my fast and see your body back a label You name your mind You smile Perfect picture Even though deep inside she suffer She model her fear but fancy cover Now make you see how she bruised and battered She's got a so good concealing it she can't feel the mix, yeah, yeah It's why she don't speak of it It's a sick, it's a sick Oh, you're not puppy tail? Not on the ice You're fine with me, yeah Talk to me Yes, What's up? Why is it so hard for you to understand? Whatever decision to make. The patient has a bunch of wound to the chest. What? When? Which hospital today? Alright, I'm soon coming.